morning. Welcome aboard Endurance. 100 kilometers above the Earth, we're passing over the Australia. Appears to be the western coast of Australia. 600 kilometers from the International Space Station. It's been a wonderful ride up here, an incredible experience, and we'd like to talk about our spacecraft, a little bit about life on board. And so, the uh, Dragon spacecraft was a wonderful ride. Um, Falcon gave us a very, very smooth ride. We were all surprised at how much we were able to feel the uh, acceleration at first, which was very smooth, but then the throttle down and throttle back up again, and then the incredible 4Gs as we uh, entered into uh, the rest of the ascent, particularly on the MVAC as we had our sustained Gs towards the end. Um, staging was very exciting, a few moments of uh, apparent zero G during that time, but was quite smooth compared to uh, a lot of other uh, uh, launches that I've experienced. Uh, we also wanted to introduce our crew member of the crew here. To introduce our zero-G indicator, FOW, uh, that's German for peacock, and um, we chose FOW to be our zero-G indicator because Raj and I are both uh, from the class called the Turtles, um, and we're excited to represent our class in space, um, and Tom is a peacock, so uh, to get everybody on board, um, we picked a peacock turtle. You'll note she's peacock colored, um, and we named her Fow, which is German for peacock. Um, but so far, we've just been hanging out in the cabin. Uh, Tom's our veteran crew member, and the rest of us are rookies, so we've been getting our space legs and doing pretty well so far. Uh, I think I'll pass over to Grinder to talk a little bit about the displays and what we've been up to in the cabin. So far, it's very much like the sim, except it's a lot easier to scratch your back. But, uh, yeah, we've been having a great time so far. We've done, as Tom mentioned, we're at 400 kilometers now, and we can see that uh, via a series of displays here, kind of like looking out uh, at a, like a HUD on an aircraft, and then also a map of the world, and that's how we keep track of where we're at and what's coming up next. We've done a few burns so far to raise our orbit and catch up to the ISS. So we're at a slightly lower altitude and moving faster and getting closer to it every hour uh, until we eventually wind up docking with it tomorrow. So it's been a great ride, like uh, Tom and Kayla mentioned, and Tom and Fowl's been along with us, uh, enjoying it with us the whole way. So one of the first activities that we did in Endurance was we left our signature, we subbed it, and here it is, Cruise 3 on board of Endurance. The next, the next activities that we did, we started looking out the window and taking some very first shots, practicing our skills, like internal shots of us floating freely in the cabin like Kayla is currently doing a few shots of the burns during the night orbit and also some nice shots um, of, yeah, of the Earth. It's also uh, one of the most delightful things about being in space is eating, and everybody's been feeling really good. We've been enjoying the food. We've already had two meals, which is okay. kind of surprising. Uh, however, the uh, handling the, the new folks on the crew have been handling the food just fantastic. We've not had any disasters at all. Uh, the water is quite interesting, drinking out of the water bottles. Uh, Matthias has come up with, I'm sure others have thought about this, but Matthias has perfected a method of, uh, of uh, 
opening the water bottle into a bit of a centrifuge, and the trick is keeping the water at the top when you drink it. But uh, of course, just drinking water is an enormous amount of fun up here as well. I hand that over to you. And Tom's pulling out some of the food to do a little demo of what we've been eating. Uh, yep, we have scissors and a spoon to help us eat. One of our uh, mottos at NASA is train like you fly, and uh, we spent a lot of our extra time in quarantine the past week eating a lot, so we're well prepared to uh, come up here and eat a little bit more. And as you know, in space, we're encouraged to play with our food. We've already uh, had some target practice with macadamia nuts. And uh, so far, I'd say we've been uh, fairly successful. The uh, life support system is still good, and uh, all the important parts uh, have no food particles on them. So. And as Matthias mentioned, probably the coolest view we've had uh, so far was a night firing of the Draco thrusters. And so the forward thrusters are mounted just above the forward hatch here. And the other neat thing you can see looking out the forward hatch is right now the moon, but also the docking pedals that will help us attach to the space station when we get there. Yeah, a great view of uh, the ultimate goal there, the moon, Mars, and beyond with exploration, but uh, on our way to do some amazing work on the space station using these docking pedals to, to visit Mark and the rest of the crew up there.